Welcome to Channel 73 News. This is Jarvald coming at you from the gates of Relica, where a madman named Relica, insulted by people calling him by his idiotic nickname Thortor, has been terrorizing local civilians in the search of copper and tin. Local authorities urge everyone to hide their valuable ores and lock their... Oh my God, it's him, quick, move the camera. There he is, he just killed Lanzig. Run, Frida, get out of there. Oh my God, I think he is coming this way. Save yourself. Good morning from the bronze factory. I'm about 300 kilos deep at the moment and there we have level 5 smithing already. The goal at the moment is level 15 so we can smell some iron ore and the ultimate goal of course is level 49. That is our chunk goal of uh, smithing a bull's eye lantern eventually. That's gonna take a long long while before that but for now we are going for level 15 for the iron ore. And with this bar, we have level 6 smithing. Two levels in one inventory feels good, man. And of course, never forget about the very, very important fletching XP. There we go, 50 XP. Another inventory down, and we have some iron warhammers and bronze warhammers, a steel bar that we can't use, and the Fremenic helmet, our first drop of these from Lanzix. These are all 1 in 512 from the geese guys, so pretty rare, but unfortunately we don't do anything with those, so... Continue with smithing. And that gets us to level 7 smithing. That is actually a very, very big level. We can now make bronze throwing knives. And if you recall, in the last episode I said something like this. Two-tick fishing is only possible while holding a weapon with an attack speed of 3 or lower. Since your retaliation timer is half of your attack speed rounded down, and we need the timer to be one tick long. So in one tick you are retaliating, and the next tick you are fishing. Hence the name two tick fishing. And as it turns out, bronze throwing knives are less than three tick speed, so we can actually use these to two tick fish. Uh, probably at least. I am a little bit unsure how they work when we have to retaliate, so if we are actually using the knives or not, but we will see. We're gonna try it out. This is a very great haul from about 100 Lanzix, 5 tin, 10 copper, 5 iron and steel bar, and also a lamp that I got from random events. There's level 10 smithing already. And let's just smelt the rest of these up and then we can use the lamp. Uh, all of the lamps from now on are going into smithing instead of agility because smithing is going to be our end goal of this junk probably. Uh, yeah, 10 smithing, not going to get 11 from these I think, but all of the lamps are going to be very very helpful in the future. And yeah, we are messing some bronze knives. I think this is going to work. Uh, I still have to test it out, but <laughs> I'm just too invested in killing Lanzix at the moment. About another 100 kills and we have another big haul of ores, another 5 bronze bars coming in and a lot of iron ore stacked up. And I also did get level 11 smithing just then but I didn't record it because I didn't think it was significant at all but turns out it actually is pretty significant. We can now make this uh, bronze chain body and that is our actual first real armor. So let's make the rest of these into knives, there's 12 smithing. Uh, bronze sky shields are not very useful, but the bronze chain body is our first armor that we can use. So it does have some decent defense bonuses, plus 11 to crush bonus over the ropes, and crush is what the Lanzix use, so that's what we are looking at for here. So yeah, going from 68 crush bonus to 79, that's not that bad at all. It's gonna make us a little bit tankier against Lanzix at least, and now we can also sell off our ropes. But to be honest, this does look quite goofy, so we might have to get some new clothes as well soon. Last episode, I hit 5,000 subscribers on YouTube, and I just wanted to thank you all so much for the support on the series. I'm not going to do any commercials or anything here, just wanted to thank you all from the bottom of my heart. And here's to all of you, and many more episodes to come. Skull! Ooh. Alrighty, let's go and test some two-tick fishing with the bronze knives that we have made so far. I'm going to PvP world, I have my alt parked right there. He's got as much negative attack bonuses as I could muster him. All full plate armor and a brudu shield and stuff like that. 
So basically what we do is we just fish and attack ourselves with the darts from the other one. And it seems like we are throwing knives all the time, so this might not actually work as I was hoping it would. No, wait. Okay. Okay. It actually seems to be working pretty fine. We're not catching anything at the moment, but it I think it is working just fine. So now we are not throwing any darts or uh, knives. I'm going to go get my knives. I don't really have too many of these, so there we go. But yeah, once you get in the rhythm, clicking every two ticks, it seems to be pretty doable, actually. So we might not need the short bow at all, it turns out. Okay, two and a half minutes later, we have 15 sharks in our inventory. So this is working very, very fine, I think. And uh, I don't think we have used almost any of our knives. We have uh, basically all of them still. So yeah, it seems to be working and we don't really need the short bow. I'm going to do a real test, maybe like an hour of AFK fishing, an hour of Tutic fishing and see what the rates are like. So I did some calculating and I think we have caught about 2.5 thousand sharks at the moment and we are 2.7... No, I will not be in the anil, that is Josh's game. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we are uh, 2.7k sharks away from level 80 fishing at the moment. So if we reach level 80 fishing just with the sharks, I'm not catching anything else anymore. Uh, we will be dry for the big shark, which is 1 in 5,000 and we have caught 5.2 thousand at that point. So. Uh, hopefully we don't go that far. Uh, if we do, well, then we just have to see how how dry we are actually going to go. But that is enough fishing for now. I'm going to do this passively, AFK on mobile and uh, two-ticking whenever I'm on the PC and have the right kind of mindset for two-tick fishing. It is kind of, you know, stressful to do it for long times. We are back at it with the Lanzix. We have enough copper and tin to make... Uh, five more bronze bars and this should be level 13 smithing right there. Uh, doesn't, it doesn't unlock anything? That's weird. Uh, level 13 smithing. Oh, okay. So <laughs> it unlocks bronze claws and we don't have the quest requirement, whatever it is. The troll stronghold, I think. And just missed the level, but there was 58 strength and 64 combat. More copper, that is always beautiful. I just wish we had some tin as well. I'm kind of drowning in copper at the moment. And with these bones, we're going to get 28 prayer. This is our first um, first one of the good prayers, the steel skin. Very nice. I got a little bit desperate for tin. I was just getting copper left and right, so I did some rock crabs. They cannot drop uh, copper at all. They can only drop tin. So now we have nine bronze bars coming in, and I think this should be a level as well. Nope, we are two bronze bars off. A full inventory of fresh two tick killed sharks for a tireless lens killer. All right, that's what I'm talking about. That is the best ratio we have ever seen. 10 copper, 10 tin. This is going to be a level four sure. There we go. Level 14 smithing. Bronze two handed swords. Not really impactful for us. That is the last of the bronze bars, only half a level until we can smelt some iron or at level 15. It is time for a super fast fun relic of fact. 
They are three NPCs that sell fish in the Fremnik region, one in Relica, one in Miscellania and one in Etceteria. But for whatever reason, the ones in Miscellania and Etceteria are called fishmongers, while the one in Relica is called a fishmonger. Yep, that's it. Back to the video. A maze random or a mime or neither one of those and 320 coins that kind of sucks and just got level 54 hit points and we are very very close to level 15 and we have five copper five tin uh there's not gonna be enough but i think we are only one drop away yep only 50 xp away so one more drop and only one strength level away from 60 beautiful I am in quite of a pickle here. I have 10 iron ore there on the table and my inventory is full of iron. And uh, I have the 5 tin and we are only a couple XP away from <laughs> level 15 when we could smelt all of this iron. So I guess I just really have to juggle this until we get a uh, copper ore drop. I really, really don't want to sell all of this iron now that we are so close to level 15. So I am juggling this all the way until we get a copper ore drop. Yes, yes, let's go, beautiful. That is the copper that we need. Let's go. I'm gonna... Uh, actually, I probably should reset all of this. Take the copper. That is going to be level 15 smithing. We can finally start using the iron that we are getting. Not need to sell it anymore. So drop everything, juggle everything back, and we are golden. Here it comes, one of the most impactful levels of the account, level 15 smithing. We can now finally smelt all of this beautiful iron. Now let's go back and get all of the iron we are juggling. Oh, there we go. Just look at all of the iron bars. That's so nice. So when we get to level 20, I'm going to smelt all of these into arrow tips. But for now, I think we're just making daggers. That's the only thing we can really make. But after level 20, everything is going into arrow tips so that we can make some fletching XP for real. 16 smithing already. Basically, just skip the level there. And we can actually now make bronze plate legs. We just need some more bronze drops. And there we go, almost halfway to level 17. That is so, so nice. We basically just skipped a level and a half just by juggling all of the iron that we had. So yeah, now this is gonna speed up quite a lot because we are getting a lot of iron drops from Lanzig. So onwards to level 30, I think is the next milestone. And if you were wondering what kind of XP rates we are getting, this is about 300 XP per hour or so. Yeah, this is kind of masochistic, isn't it? Oh, Mr. Blue Boy Genie himself. Haven't seen those in a long, long while. Uh, this is going to go into smithing, obviously. Not going to be a level, but very, very close. There we go, 160 XP. Thank you. Booyah! 60 strength, 65 combat, and 600 total level. What a nice triple level there. Uh, I have a lot of ores in my inventory. <laughs> This has been about two hours of landsicking. That is a completely valid new term. Uh, yeah, so it has been a little while. Let's go and smelt this all up. There's level 17 smithing. We can now make iron maces. Not really impactful. And that is all of them done. Uh, 17 and a half smithing basically. And I made myself some bronze blade legs finally. So these are giving plus four crush bonus. Uh, not super good over the ropes, but it's something at least, and uh, it definitely looks a little bit better. But now everything else we have is looking completely ridiculous, so I'm trying to pick net fish some normal looking boots and gloves, and uh, oh, perfect timing, there we go. So yeah, now we have the normal boots, normal gloves, we are gonna get rid of this green look, and let's go and top that off with a normal looking cape from Urza. The green season is over, and we are going for, I think, the brown cloak. We are basically brown all around. Brown cloak, brown uh, boots and gloves. Oh, I dropped them. <laughs> yeah, I had them do left click drop. Where are those? There we go. And that is looking 
pretty good. We are looking like a kind of a real-ish warrior at least. And actually I do need to keep the beekeeper gloves on. It's okay, they're great. Um, I need to keep them on if I want to get the full set so we can get some flash in the future. Although we don't really even need the short bow anymore now that we have the bronze knives. But anyways, that is our new brown outfit. And there we have level 29 prayer. And we have another 5 iron, 5 copper and 5 tin. The perfect ratios. Let's go and smelt these up. Now I just realized we could actually make ourselves a bronze plate buddy. Um, there's level 19 smithing. We can now make nothing too much. But the bronze plate buddy is actually a little bit worse than the bronze chain buddy. I just made it just so that you can see. Because we are mainly looking for crush defense. That is the only thing that really matters against Lanzig. And it is actually better in the chain buddy than the plate buddy. So this bronze plate buddy is going to be sold. Uh, it does look a little bit better, I guess. But uh, it's worse defensively, so we are keeping the chain buddy on. Yet another full inventory, 10 copper and 10 iron. We are not getting tin for some reason. That is the last of them and over halfway to level 20 smithing when we can start making some arrow tips. So this is new. I just got crashed at Lanzig. Uh, this guy just came around with his fire strike, started casting it. Um, didn't really care that I was killing it, but... Uh, okay, I guess. I'm gonna snipe this Lanzig from him. Yes! <laughs> there we go. This is my Lanzig. Get the hell out of here. Oh, but <laughs> what the f <laughs> Lanzig just reincarnated as Captain Aronov. Uh, yeah, I'll unlock your chest. Maybe we can get a necklace or a ring. Oh, yes, we do. Our best in slot necklace, I guess. Uh, <laughs> gold necklace. That is at least fashion scape. That's something. And the guy is just killing my Lanzig again. I'm pretty sure this guy might be botting. He's not responding to random events. He's not responding to my messages. And every time Lanzig pops up, he just uh, starts fire striking him. So it's kind of weird. Um, but I'm just going to keep killing Lanzig here. I'm going to snipe the Lanzig from him. So he's not going to get any kills here. Just waste his time. He's just going to watch. Yet another very weird inventory. Two steel bars, five iron ore and a Fremenic helmet and a shitload of copper. The tin is somehow just very, very scarce from these guys. I don't know why. I guess I have to go and kill some rock crabs again to get some more tin. I do have to say, you just meet the weirdest guys in Relica. Like, look at this guy. Granite sword, full red dehyde and amulet of glory. Uh, what is that gear? I mean, just think for a second. What is he doing with that gear? Killing trolls or killing Lanzigs? What the hell does he do with that? I just missed it, but there was 61 strength and the tin has finally caught up. We have 10 tin, 10 copper and an additional 5 copper on the table right there. That should be level 20 smithing bank, so let's go ahead and smelt all of this up. Remember when I said level 15 smithing was probably one of the most impactful levels on the account? Well, that was a lie. This is going to be the most impactful level. Level 20 smithing. We can now smelt silver ore. This is something I really haven't talked about yet, but there is three silver rocks in the Relica mines, and we can mine them at level 20 mining and smelt them in the bars for 13.7 XP each, which should be quite a bit faster than killing Lanzigs over and over again. Uh, at least from level 20 to 30 until we unlock steel bars, it's going to be way, way faster. So that is something that we might give a go later on. But if we want to mine silver, we are going to need level 20 mining first. And there is a iron pickaxe right here that we can pick up and use. Uh, but for that level 20 mining, I'm going to mine clay all the way from 1 to 20. It's going to be extremely slow. But this is also a very good opportunity for us to get our crafting level up. We're going to need 43 crafting to cut a diamond at some point. And uh, yeah, clay is going to be the way to go. Uh, We're going to make blind pots all the way from level 19 crafting to 43. And I think that's going to be like 1,270 plant pots. So it's going to take a while, but it shouldn't be too, too bad, I think. And that grind should probably get us to level 20 mining, if I had to guess. There's the first one of many level 2 mining. Oh my god, this is so goddamn slow. I think I have to get some more buckets. Uh, one by one filling the bucket and uh, wetting one clay at a time is a very slow method. So 
I think I'm gonna get like five buckets and do this again. I <laughs> should be a bit faster. All right, and the potter's wheel, we can only, at this level, I think we can make bowls is the best one. Let's see, pottery, yeah, bowls, and level 19 is going to be plant pots. So those are going to be uh, the kind of the meat and potatoes that we are going to do for the rest of the grind. But for now, we are doing unfired bowls and then firing them right there in the clay oven. This is actually not too bad of uh, crafting XP. This level 17 already. We only have like... Uh, Half an inventory of these uh, shaped and not even fired yet, so not too shabby. Now, for whatever reason, I guess uh, pottery is just too OP of a crafting method, but firing anything in the clay oven takes 8 ticks instead of the normal 4 ticks that basically anything else takes, like smelting bars or smithing items or shaping the pottery items or anything. Everything usually takes 4 ticks, but this, for some reason, is 8 ticks per one. Um, please, Jagex, fix it. Still the same inventory going and 18 crafting, only one more inventory probably and we get 19 crafting and we can start making some plant pots for some more XP. There's level 3 mining. Oh yes, the coveted 5 bucket tech is so much better. This is going to be much much faster than the 1 bucket. And there's level 19 crafting, so now we can make the plant pots and those are going to be what we are going to be making from here all the way to level 43 crafting. 1,270 plant pots to go. Level 4 mining, 20 crafting, that is our nice milestone. We can now cut sapphire, so whenever we get some from mining or big net fishing or anything like that, we can uh, actually cut them and make them into sapphires and sell them for a more profit. And there is level 5 mining. So this is what the crafting method looks like. I'm mining a full inventory of clay here at the mines. Run to the well in the center of Relica, uh, use some water buckets in there and uh, wet all of the clay into soft clay. Then run into the factory building where we have our potter's wheel and the clay oven. I shape all of it in the plant pots and then fire all of them in the oven. And then sell all of the plant pots and rinse and repeat. And it takes about 5 minutes per inventory, so not too bad of a method. 21 crafting and 22 crafting in the same inventory, 6 mining, 23 crafting, 7 mining, 24 crafting, 25 crafting, level 8 mining and there's a Bob the Cat. Um, yeah, I guess we can go and meet Pete. Let's see what we get from this. Here have a present. What do we get? 7 law runes. Uh, I did not even know that you could get those, but we're, well... We don't do anything with those, we can't train magic in Relica, uh, so those are going to get sold. 26 crafting, level 9 mining and 625 total level. And another gem milestone, 27 crafting, we can now cut emeralds as well, not too bad. And level 10 mining. Let's break up the mining and crafting grind a little bit with a quick fun relic of fact. So as you know, when you complete the Fremnik Trials, you are assigned a Fremnik name. Mine is Thorto, which I still hate quite a lot, but you can also change your name with the Ring of Karos. And if you get the name Jawald or Bardur, you can have some pretty fun dialogue with NPCs that have the same name as you. But there is also apparently a bug in the name acquisition process where your name can be a part of any script in the game, like random string of characters or even a sentence of some NPC's dialogue. I tried resetting my name with the Ring of Karos for about 30 minutes on my main but couldn't trigger the bug so i'm going to ask your help on this one if you want to try it and do get the bug to trigger please send me a screenshot at lunitarosrs at gmail.com or just message me in game and i will highlight it in the next episode now let's get back into the mining and crafting grind and finally there is level 20 mining we can now mine and smelt silver and i do want to test it out as a smithing method but i'm so close to our chunk goal of level 43 crafting that i'm just gonna knock those few levels out of the way and uh, yeah then we can do some silver mining and smelting and smithing training again oh mysterious old man finally a maze random i think this is actually my first maze random which is kind of incredible that i have like uh, eight days or something playtime and I haven't seen a single uh, random event or a maze random event yet. 76% let's see the rewards what do we get I don't think we can get really anything too useful but okay chaos runes steel arrows and coal uh, the coal would be nice but we don't have a bank where we could unnote that so not going to be useful uh, chaos runes steel arrows not going to be useful either so those are just money 
Big Milestone Level 40 Crafting. Does that unlock? Yeah, Crafting Guild and Ruby Necklaces. Well, it's going to be a couple hundred days before we get to the Crafting Guild, but <laughs> nice to have in this option, I guess. 21 mining and another Bob the Cat random. Oh, this is fishing. Uh, no, I don't think I will. I can do enough fishing as it is with the sharks. Go away, Bob. 41 crafting, two more levels to go. And if you were interested, this is about 7.2 thousand XP per hour, so it's not actually really that bad of a method. It takes like maybe six hours or something to get from uh, 19 to 43, so not too bad at all. 22 mining. And that is 42 crafting, one more level to go, and we are done with crafting. Mr. Freaky Forester. This is also my first uh, Freaky Forester event. I don't know why I have gotten so many like zombie randoms and uh, stuff like that, but anyways, let's go ahead and do this. If we can get the full set, we can then get some XP lamps from these events after the uh, changes that Jack has made. So definitely going to try and gather the full set of all the outfits. Uh, the unfortunate thing is we can't really bank any of these unless we get a Lee random, but there we have Leather Hosen Shorts. Actually, it goes pretty well with the bronze chain body and everything. That's not too bad of a look. The final mining level for now, 23 mining. And this is it, the final crafting level. Booyah, 43 crafting. You can now cut diamonds and craft diamond rings. And uh, actually, we can get a ring mold from the warriors. So if we can get the... Uh, uh, gold bar from the random event, the Captain Honor random event, we could make ourselves a diamond ring. We can't really enchant it, and it's not a best in slot, and it's not required, but it would be pretty cool if we can get a gold bar to make that ring. But anyways, uh, that is the chunk goal basically done. We just need to get a uncut diamond from somewhere, either uh, big net fishing or mining or something like that, or a random event, I guess. And then we can cut it and complete the chunk goal for real. But now we also have the mining level to mine silver, so let's go ahead and try this out as a smithing method. Wait, what? Achievement Diary Stage 1? What kind of Achievement Diary is that? I don't think this is a task for us. Where is that? Oh, craft a tiara from scratch in Relica. Okay, yeah, that's why it's not a uh, Achievement Diary task for us, because we can't get a tiara mold. There's level 24 mining, holy moly the XP, this is like 40 XP per silver ore, which is 8 times more than a single clay rock, so we are really gonna swim in mining levels if we go this route with the smithing. Look at that, a full inventory of silver ore without killing a single Lanzig, it's actually a pretty nice thing uh, that we can mine and smelt something without doing any PVM. Uh, but these are 13.7 XP each, a lot less than iron or steel bars would get us, so I'm not really sure which one is faster, killing Lanzigs or, or mining and smelting silver, but this does feel quite a bit faster. I'm gonna do some more testing in the future. There's 21 smithing, and yeah, I think I'm gonna do this from level 20 to 30 at least, so that we can skip the iron altogether and go straight into the steel tier. Because making all of the iron ore into steel bars is so much more worth XP-wise than uh, making all of them into iron bars. Since coal is not really the limiting step that we have, it's the iron ore that is the limiting step, unlike uh, some usual chunkers have. So, yeah. At this point I want to thank my channel members. We have a couple new ones to induct into the club. We have Batrap the Games and Cell Metal 8. And as new ones we have Teeters, Grayson and Tom XO in the Steel tier. And we have our first Rune IT member as well, Acorns to Earth. A big big thank you to every single one of you for becoming channel members. And if you are interested in channel memberships, there is a link down in the description where you can pick any tier that suits you or don't. You can also just watch the videos, that is completely fine as well. There we have a little 79 fishing, and that is going to be the end of this episode. I'm just going to chill a little bit here, do some editing, try to get the big shark if we can. Uh, one more level until level 80, and that is going to be when we are going to be a dry for the big shark. So hopefully we don't go that far. But anyways, that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please click the like button. It does help a lot. And uh, don't forget to subscribe on your way out. I will see all of you in the next episode.